Hey everybody, I know you're excited to have this Monday off, but in case you were wondering, I am not Christopher Columbus's biggest fan. So I've got a guest star with me today, and we're going to make the best of this bogus holiday by throwing down some fry bread. You ready, Benny? This is my guest star, Benny. Hello, folks. He's a fry bread expert. You can tell by the t-shirt. You know it. <coughs> so, I'm gonna let him handle most of the cooking today. First, you're gonna put in two cups of flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. Then you'll sift that together thoroughly. Next, you're going to add in a quarter cup of vegan margarine or shortening, and about a half a cup of H2O. That's water. Then you're going to mix that together thoroughly. Eventually, you're just going to have to use your hands. Okay, watch closely people, this is a very important move. What I'm doing is I'm folding the bread over on itself so that the flour is all inside, and then I'm going to take my fist and mash it in so it's thoroughly incorporated. Just like you're kneading bread dough, which it is. Eventually, the dough will reach a smooth and creamy consistency. Make a mental note, the lumpier it is, the more flaky it will be when it is fried. Gents and ladies, do not adjust your screens. I am now pouring one inch of straight canola oil into a frying pan. Heat the oil to medium-high heat. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to put down a few paper towels with a cooling rack on top and then a few more paper towels on top to drain the fry bread. To test the heat of the pan, I'm going to drop a pinch of fry bread dough in. If it sinks, it's not ready. But, if it dances around the pan thusly, <laughs> it is. Okay folks, watch the master at work. I'm going to take a golf ball sized piece of dough and pinch and stretch it into shape. It sounds like an aerobics routine. And pinch! And stretch! And pinch! Okay, and stretch, that's okay. enough! Sorry. Was lost and found no reason left to hide Cause I feel a light inside And it comes from you It comes from you When it's evenly flattened, poke a hole into the center of the dough so that it cooks evenly or for religious reasons. Place it in the pan very carefully. Yeah, hear that? Very carefully. Because there is nothing more painful than a third degree burn. The fry bread should only take a few minutes to cook, so watch it closely. When the eye of the fry bread is golden brown, it's time to flip it. With tongs. Not your hands. These days I feel a change. All the patterns rearranged. Though I can't explain. When the fry bread is done, remove it from the pan with tongs and move it to the draining area and blot it off with paper towels. Turbo speed!
There are about a billion and a half ways to eat fry bread. Some people like it sweet with powdered sugar or maybe jam or fruit preserves. Ew. I mean, everyone has their own tastes. It is also choice as an open-faced taco, just loaded up with fresh salsa and other fillings. And top it with cilantro. DISGUSTING! Get over it. Never. Benny likes his fry bread dipped in pizza sauce. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Au naturel is also a popular choice. It's a little easier to breathe This all unbound Was lost and found No reason left to hide Okay, okay, now don't make the scary face. Hey, well, it's a white shirt. Of course it's gonna show through. Thank you, uh... <laughs> uh... Nat, sir, I'm your brother. Nat, for yeah. 13 years. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mental note. <laughs> I mean, no, it's perfect. <laughs> Your curl! Up <laughs> some cilantro? Good night! <laughs> and democracy.